Uh, hey there. Ah, uh, sweet. Stoner found someone. Hi, try touching it. We haven't seen a new person in a while. Silly, Inky. I've been here two months ago, back in May. Um, you have genuine companions and stuff. Oh, sorry about him. He forgot how to talk. I'm sorry and all, but I was actually talking to you. Sorry. Oh, hello, random person. Yeah, that happens. Don't worry, we have recovery. Dude! What the heck? Take a gander at the recovery center. Open. Guess who's back? Oh yeah, we need to tell you who we are. So, I'm Water Bottle, and that's Yo-Yo Ball, Inky, and Stoner. Free syringe. Hi. Oh yeah, and the person that just got recovered is LGBT Light. Oh, cool. Speaking of recovery, should we get this guy's DNA for the recovery center? Well, we do live near mountains, and volcanoes are mountains. Are you implying that you want to throw me into that volcano? Maybe. How about we do something less painful and unexpected? But free syringe, if you could freeze LGBT light and turn her into an ice statue, can't you do the same thing to yourself? If I try to do that on me by accident or on purpose, it won't affect me either way because I'm the host. See? Plus, I didn't intend on freezing them. I don't know why it happened anyway. Look, how does this sound? We recover you the second we kill you later. But for now, we take a picture of you so we can introduce the acne rivals to plague acid into the recovery center. Okay then, I guess that won't do any harm. See? Now, say macaroni. Bell. Well, in our defense, Inky didn't tell us she poisoned your cup of water while we were talking. Plus, you did say you wanted to die in a less painful way and unexpected. I would have preferred later like I said earlier, but it's alright. 